Good morning, Lanier, and welcome to the second episode of Lanier This Morning. I'm Juan. And I'm Mauricio. We don't have a lot of news to share heading into spring break, but there's still some important information, so let's get to it. Attention seniors, it's not too late to apply to college. Most Georgia colleges and technical colleges have free applications through the end of March. Today is the final day for you to apply for free. Check out the GA Futures homepage for a list of all the free applications. Also, the SAT slash ACT requirement has been waived for almost all Georgia colleges and universities, so you don't have a test score to apply. If you plan on participating in sports next year, you need an updated physical. Lanier will be hosting our annual physical night Monday, April 11th from 515 to 8. The cost will be $25 payable through GoFan. You will need to create your rank one account and print out your health history form before your physical exam. See the flyers with QR codes throughout the school. Prom will still be held on April 23rd from 6 to 10 p.m. However, it will be at Peachtree Point at Lake Lanier Islands. This indoor outdoor space will be able to hold all our students and still allow for social distancing and outside seating for those that are hesitant. As always, masks are strongly encouraged, but no longer required for those indoor. Tickets are purchased on MPP and guests from outside GCPS will need a permission form. Anyone with questions can email Elizabeth Dolce Mascolo or stop by room 210. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bad Dad Jokes with Mr. Grant. Today's joke is, I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. Some of you'll get it. If not, ask a friend. Have a great day. Members of Lanier Productions will be competing in the All-American High School Spring Film Invitational. Students will compete against other schools across the nation to create a short film in five days. If you're interested to find out more, please visit Mr. Phillips in 100B before Friday, April 1st. The first robotic season is here and the mechanical bulls are off to a strong start. They have competed in two competitions thus far and have finished in the semifinals each time. They have won the Judges Award and Image Award at these competitions and are currently ranked sixth in the state. If you'd like to watch them compete at state competition over spring break, tune in to twitch.tv GA first one. and welcome to the 2021 Lanier interview about esports. Esports is a global phenomenon where players compete for grand prizes while playing popular video games. It helps boost children's strategic thinking, teamwork, communication, leadership, performance skills, and confidence building. Most people recognize the names Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Tom Brady figures often seen as the faces of their respective sports. Names like Lee Baker Shang Hayuk, Luka Perks Pergovic, and Kim Doing Tai Shang may not have quite the same recognition yet, but these athletes are also global superstars. Countries across the globe recognize esports as a professional level event conducting tournaments in a manner similar to traditional sporting events. The global esports audience numbered 3A 0.2 million in 2018 and has tended to grow up to 557 million by 2021, contributing more than 750 million annually to the state's economy. Esports is a big business in Georgia. Thanks to strong partnerships and support at the state and local levels, Georgia's esports industry has grown exponentially over the past year. Some of the biggest beneficiaries of this growth are Georgia students. Not only does esports in school boost student interest in higher education, but it can also provide a pathway to post-secondary scholarships. 
Close to 100 colleges and universities are members of the National Association of College Esports, the official governing body for varsity sports. Top Georgia colleges that provide esports for students are UGA, Keisha University, and Georgia State University. Esports are as complex as sports but feature more live action per game and are as competitive as sports. Traditional sports like American football, baseball, and soccer are no longer the only examples for sports, and the definition of sport is evolving. The 2022 yearbook is completed. Be sure to reserve your copy today by visiting yearbookordercenter.com. The code for Lanier is 10711. Struggling in your classes? NHS is offering a tutoring in a variety of subjects during the academy time on Thursdays at 9.30. See the QR codes around school to sign up. And now before we head into spring break, it's time for some inspiration from Coach Brennan. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Inspirational quotes again. Good to see you guys. You guys look great today. Okay, uh, this week we have conventional wisdom kind of says body is a temple. You know, so so treat it as such. Go on, go on a walk. Get see something outside. Run, jog, hop, skip, bike ride. You know, see a dog. Go go put a dog outside. Go do something outside. All right, have a great week. And that wraps up this edition of Lanier This Morning. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Lanier This Morning. I'm Juan. And I'm Mauricio. We'll see you next time. Until then, have a great spring break and stay safe. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.